Around Madison Heights, people knew him as Mr. Myers or Coach Myers, but around the world he was known as George the Animal Steel. William James Myers passed away last night at the age of 79. Our Sean Lay spent some time today catching up with some of those who knew him when. And uh, Sean, if you met him, you certainly didn't forget him. Let me tell you, it's been nonstop out here in Madison High, in Madison Heights all day long, Devin. People coming along telling us their memories of George the Animal Steel, the wrestler, but also, as you mentioned, Coach Jim Myers, who was here at the school. That's George the Animal Steel's real name, a person here at the school who was absolutely larger than life. He's like the favorite son, really, of this community. So this community really is really mourning the loss of, of him. Before there was wrestling star George the Animal Steel, there was Coach Myers. Jim Myers was a football player and basketball player at Madison High in Madison Heights. Then he came back to coach, winning state wrestling titles, but more importantly, mentoring young men. A former player of Coach Myers got up and just talked about the fact that he really believes because of the mentorship that he put in his life uh, and the investment that he had in his life that he saved his life. By being big and hairy, Myers fell right into pro wrestling. He'd be on TV for a match in New York on Saturday night, then right back at Madison High Monday morning. Well, he cared, cared about students, especially ones that had problems. Lawrence Oglesby was Myers' teaching assistant for phys ed and learned the hard way not to volunteer to demonstrate straight wrestling moves for the man nicknamed George the Animal Steel. And he grabbed me and put me in this move that uh, where I felt like a pretzel and I was like this, I couldn't move. And he goes, now everybody remember that. And then he, and I'd be like, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> and, and he'd go, and he let me go. And he goes, now let me show you that one more time. <laughs> Love that story. Also love the legacy of Coach Myers. Here's the deal, uh, the influence this man had. Al Morrison went to school here. Uh, he wrestled for Coach Myers. He is now the board president. Bishop Foley's wrestling coach, a very accomplished wrestler in his own part. Bernie Gonzalez also wrestled here, wrestled with Coach Myers, uh, remained very close to him. Devin, they're going to have a memorial service for him sometime after break. We have sometime possibly next Thursday. We'll certainly let everyone know when that yeah. is. He was loved out here. And in fact, the football field is dedicated to him as well, isn't it? Dedicated to him as well. I also want to share a story with that because the superintendent out here, he came up from Tennessee uh, and then became superintendent. He became aware of George Animal Steel. He grew up kind of watching him on TV and then they dedicate the field here and then he wants to take a picture with him. Uh, his childhood hero, basically. Here's what happens. Uh, this is superintendent here, Randy Speck. He goes to get a photo with Coach Myers and he basically meets George the Animal Steel in an absolutely <laughs> unforgettable way. <laughs> That's great, Sean. Uh, let's take a quick look at the sampling of our, how our Facebook friends are uh, remembering the animal. Uh, Gary, for example, posts, I can still hear Gene Okerlund say, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 288 pounds, George <laughs> the Animal Steel. <laughs> uh, Cliff says, my football coach and gym teacher, many memories. Godspeed, coach. Oh, that's great. Yep.